Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Let's get right to our guest, Falcons reporter D. Orlando Ledbetter of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. D. Orlando, how's it going? Oh, it's going great, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, the Houdat Nation in New Orleans thought the Saints would bring the fire at home and crush the Falcons Sunday, but Atlanta saw it much differently. So how did the way the game unfolded compare to your expectations? It was a uh, out of the dark moment, Rachel. The defense that showed up in New Orleans had not been seen before this season. Uh, they uh, uh, had never registered five sacks, never got after the quarterback like that, and uh, had not produced four plus turnovers in a game. So uh, they came to play defensively, and uh, that helped to carry the Falcons to victory, uh, in addition to the controversial call on the Jimmy Graham catch. <laughs> Right, called a fumble on the field, but and it was ruled there wasn't enough evidence to overturn the call. But we saw things out of Atlanta that we hadn't seen much all year, like a pass rush as the Falcons swept the Saints for the first time since 2005. Now, the Saints tried to keep their heads up, as we hear from Keenan Lewis. Yeah, definitely tough, especially those close games that we could have found our way to get over the edge. We wouldn't even been in this predicament fighting to see who we would have got in, especially the way the division was going. But it's part of football that happened, and you learn from it. Damn, I don't think none of the blame should go to the coaches at all. Me, we out there. We the ones out there playing. We got to try to find a way to get it stopped. We'll wrap up right after this. Designing luxury with children in mind. Could be a little excessive, but we found the perfect balance with the Infinity QX60, featuring effortless third row access. Welcome back. Well, dear Orlando, the Falcons are 5-0 and in division play and can clinch the title by beating the Panthers at home. So can the defense in particular rise up again and stop Cam Newton to punch their ticket to the playoffs? Oh, yes, I think they can, Rachel. Uh, the main challenge will be stopping uh, Cam Newton and running back Jonathan Stewart. Uh, Desmond Trufant did a great job on Kelvin Benjamin up there. Uh, but the run game, the Falcons defense has been good at that over the last couple weeks. They stopped Le'Veon Bell, held him at 20 uh carries on 47 yards and then also did a credible job against Mark Ingram in the New Orleans game. So stopping Stewart and then keeping Cam Newton under control with his rushing will be key to a Falcons victory on Sunday at the uh, Georgia Dome. Right, having the game at home could help, but the division winner in the NFC South will have a losing record, a fitting way to end the year in the division. Well, dear Orlando, thanks so much and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you too, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Of course, and the same to all our viewers as well. I'll see you again Monday.